Since 1959, the St. Lawrence Seaway, comprising the Welland Canal with eight locks and the section of the St. Lawrence River from Kingston to Montreal with seven locks, has played an enormous role in the economies of both the United States and Canada, carrying an extraordinary amount of cargo along the Great Lakes and down the river, all the way to the ocean. The binational corporation administering the work of the seaway is constantly out to improve its capabilities. In recent years, automated vacuum mooring has been introduced to almost all of the locks, but one in Iroquois and another had none. In the winter of 2024-25, during the closed season, work began at Iroquois. In February, with the channels cut, they were lined and the tracks on which the heads will run were placed. By the beginning of March, it's evident that the channels on which the heads will run are in place, and all that remains is for the plinths or pedestals for the installations that will drive and support them to be completed. These have arrived and are awaiting placement at the east end of the lock. You can see how they'll look in this picture from an earlier installation at another lock in 2014. Each of the three installations is at a slightly different stage of preparation. But beyond this third and final installation, you can see what any one of them will look like eventually. The seaway reopens to traffic later this month and you can be fairly confident that these moorings will be in place and in service by that time. Thanks for watching.